I've arrived in the Bavarian capital of Munich and today I'm going to show you how can you spend your time in a sustainable way in this city. I'll take you to a cafe that saves old bananas and we'll visit an Indian restaurant that is reducing its plastic waste. And what about the famous Hofbrau House? Is it also committed to sustainability? That's what I'm going to find out. And now, time for some sightseeing. If you're coming to Madrenplatz, make sure that you're not late. Be here by 11 a.m. or 12 noon to see the special performance by Glockenspiel. From March to October, there's an extra performance at 5 p.m. too. When the time comes, you'll understand why everyone is looking up. They're watching life-size figures reenact stories from Bavarian history on a centuries-old mechanical clock. One of the biggest challenges for Munich's sustainability goals is air pollution. Despite bans on diesel vehicles in the city, air pollution limits established by the World Health Organization are regularly exceeded. I think you do not need a car in Munich. The parking spaces are quite expensive and most of the sites that you will be visiting are not far from each other. You will enjoy a lovely walk here. Now let's visit the famous Victualian market where you can find lots of sustainable products which are regional, seasonal and fresh. The Hof Pisterai Bakery, for example, is dedicated to sustainable production. The bakery has been a pioneer in local and organic production since the 1970s. The grain from the region is grown without any synthetic chemical fertilizers, which is good for the soil, groundwater and biodiversity. They also don't use artificial additives in their baked goods. Before I show you what bananas have to do with sustainability in Munich, let's make a stop at the Hofbra House. I wonder what sustainability strategies a famous brewery like this has in place. Did you know that Bavaria was not a beer drinking state until 16th century? But that changed with the very famous Hofbra House. It was the city's first brewery and began as a Bavarian state-owned company. These days, Hofbra House is a sustainability role model by aiming to make all of its beer production climate neutral by 2025. Food and beverage ingredients are also sourced locally because it has its own storage facilities and beer tanks, delivery transportation is kept to a minimum. In other words, behind the desire to keep tradition alive lies modern climate-friendly technology. But I know, you're still wondering about the bananas and what do they have to do with sustainability. Normally, bananas are thrown out when they turn brown, but not at the Key Banana Cafe. What is the, the idea behind this uh, startup? The idea was to tell people about food waste mm -hmm. and how you can reduce food waste mm -hmm. and especially about bananas right. because bananas is a food that is uh, thrown away a lot mm -hmm. so we focused on that and because we are totally vegan we always need something to replace the egg you know okay, yeah. and for this the banana is really good mm -hmm. so we use it to make the banana bread the ice cream the second part of uh, this outlet is also packaging. Tell us something about that. We said, okay, if we want to tell people about food waste, we also want to complete the concept, a zero waste concept. Mm. So we decided uh, to take only recups for coffee to go. Recups? Yeah. You just order the coffee to go here, mm -hmm. and then you pay one euro deposit for the cup, right. and then you can return it in all Germany again. All over Germany. All over Germany. 20,000 cafes so far. And you don't have to wash it, you just give it back and then you get the euro back. Okay, it's lovely and the cup is really full. It was really cool to learn how they make ice cream and bread from brown bananas that would otherwise end up in the bin. A vegan banana bread and coffee in this recup. It feels really good because I'm not going to dispose this cup off like thousands of cups are disposed every day in Germany. We continue to Munich's famous park, the English Garden. It starts behind this building and it too is being threatened by climate change. Why, you ask? More on that later. 
Did you know that Munich has more than 70 museums? And this one here is one of the most famous, Haus der Kunst. And at the entrance to the English Garden, you'll also find one of Munich's special activities, surfing, thanks to an artificial wave in the Eisbach River. Before going inside the English Air Garden, you should definitely stop at this point because this is where the surfers can be watched from this point. This is the real fun. The English Garden is one of the most visited places in the city. But sadly, it's not only climate change and its dry spells that endanger the park. Many people carelessly throw their garbage into the greenery. So be sure to respect nature and throw away your trash properly. This is perhaps the best place to come and soak in the beautiful views of the English Garden. And that structure right behind me is the historic structure that allows people to come and unwind in this busy city. It's really extraordinary to walk through one of the largest urban parks in the world and have such an amazing view. So standing here at this Monopterus, it feels as if this is a different part of the city. In fact, there is a different city outside of this place. It's so quiet and serene. If you go out, you'll feel the hustle and bustle of Munich. But here, it's very different. As an Indian, I'm intrigued to know how people from my country live sustainably here in Munich. So I end my day at Sarvan Abhavan, the Indian restaurant chain can be found all over the world, so its contribution to sustainability is all the more important. Let's see how they do things here in Munich. What is it that a chain like Sarvana Bhavan, which is global, is doing and thinking about doing to become more sustainable? We'll try to avoid the main the plastic things from our the industry. Uh, mainly, we are now using the plastic spoon and uh, we are uh, using the wooden spoon and fork for the takeaways for the customer as well as we are using the uh, paper bags and the takeaway containers. Also, now we started using the um, uh, with the paper and. Um, we are uh, focusing on the coming uh, coming months or coming year, so uh, completely free from the plastic. The restaurant only serves vegetarian dishes. My colleague Andreas and I tried those services of very thin pancakes served with different chutneys. Oh, that's coconut and that's peanut, I think. That's coconut. Sustainability efforts may not be seen everywhere in Munich, but I still enjoyed seeing how I can enjoy the city's environment-friendly side as a tourist. The city of Munich wants to become carbon neutral by 2035. It means that the people of Munich and tourists can expect a better experience of being in this city.